Hi, my name is Monty Tislin. Today we're going to talk about solution management. Solution management is the ability to move customizations, BAQs, dashboards, report styles, RDDs, and other things between environments. And when I speak of environments, those are the Epicor 10 environments. There are four of them that we put in by default. Those four are production, test, training, and pilot. One thing to note is that the form layout and function has changed between Epicor 9 and 10. Here's an example of what Epicor 9 looks like. Across the bottom are all these tabs, file contents, customization, dashboards, menu, security. Uh, that would be how you would select the items that you want to have show up in your solution. Epicor 10 looks a little bit different. Those tabs are gone and now we have to uh, add them to the solution differently. There are three forms that are used for solution management in Epicor 10. Solution type, solution element entry, and solution workbench. Type and element entry are setups for workbench. Let's talk about solution type. By default, the install is all, which I personally don't see any why, reason why you'd want to have anything else in there, but in case you do, you can. Solution element entry has a default install of these items plus more. These are the useful ones. The BAQ, BAQ report, the BP directive, which are the data and method directives, the dashboard, the menu items, report, report style, and report data definition. If you've modified any report data definitions or if you've added some different report styles, it points to different things. Uh, you can also transfer security and the XXX def, or DEF at the bottom is actually what you'd use to move the customizations. Why they didn't call it customizations is beyond me, but that's another story. So let's get into the demo here. Before we get started, there's a couple things that you need to set. In the user maintenance, in order for someone to be able to create and or install solutions, there's a couple check boxes that need to be checked. You need to uh, check this one if you want them to be able to create solutions. You want to check this one if you want someone to be able to install solutions. Typically, if they can create, they probably should be able to install. Now, where do we find solution management? That's under system management. The very bottom down here is solution management, and here are the three items. Let's look at type. As I stated before, Here's the all elements. Don't understand what you need more for, but you can if you want. Element entry. If we search for elements, here are all the elements that are in there. Uh, the three in the bottom and the IP form here. Not sure what they're actually for. Here is our... I've actually never really used them. Here's the customization, security, report data definition, styles, reports, menus. Dashboard should be preamp directives, whatever. Well, now let's go into the solution workbench. In order to start this, we have to create a new solution. So we hit the new here. We're going to call this MontyCB2. We're going to do the solution type, which we know is all. So we can just type it if we want. We're going to type a description. All items for lunch and learn demo. Whoops, too long. That works from there. Okay, now we're going to save it. All right. All the solutions that I've created, we're using a solution, not the tract. <clears throat> so what do we do from here? We're going to press the button here, add to solution. And let's start with BAQs. If I select the BAQ and it add a solution, it's not going to do anything because we actually didn't select any of the BAQs to add. So we're going to select the BAQ, we're going to search. And here's a list of all the ones that are in here. Now let's say we want to do, let's just grab a couple of them here. Let's actually give a third one here and hit OK. Now we're adding here. If I were to cancel out of this, it wouldn't do anything. So we want to add the solution. So now, we're going to, 
Here's the list of queries, and the three items are in here. Let's go add. Let's go add something else. Let's add. Let's add a dashboard item here. Here's the dashboard, and maybe a couple more. We add a solution. So now you see that they are actually separated by type, very similar to the tabs, <clears throat> but done just a little differently. Let's say you want to actually remove something from the list. We select that one. We can actually just hit, simply hit the delete key. We're going to delete it. It's gone. So let's add, let's go to the good one here. Let's go to the coup de grace. Let's go for customizations. Now if you look through this list, this is a rather long list. There's a whole bunch of stuff in here. But all that we're really interested in are the customizations. So if we click on the type code here, we can actually get it to sort by that. So we're going to get in here. Okay, here's our customization. So I'm going to, all I want to do is grab the customizations, nothing else. So then we grab down here. Okay, here is all the customizations. If you want to, you can select them all, you can select whichever ones you want. I'm going to add them to the solution. So we have dashboards, queries, customizations. Let's do one more here. Let's look at the menu items. Now what this will move is this will actually move the actual menu items that show up on your menu. Now I suggest as you're going through this, if you're adding new ones, you you do them in a similar fashion to the, that all makes sense. In a lot of cases, I've seen them do UDs, like in this case. Here's a couple of them right here. Let's do UDs. Here's another one. Here are some specific ones. And you can see here that the dash C tells you that it's doing a customization. Oh, here's a couple more. Okay. If you put, if you use the similar identifying number here for the menu ID, if you always do UD something something, you'll always be able to find them. Best way to do that. So if I hit OK, we're going to grab all those menu items. We're going to add them to the solution. All right. So now we have all the items here. We're going to save it. Now we're going to go up to Actions and we're going to hit Build Solution. Now I very strongly suggest that you check this bottom one here. The rest of them, not so much for, but we're going to prompt this one. What that will allow us to do is that will allow us to specify the location to which we're going to save the file. Otherwise, it's just going to put it wherever it thinks to, and you might not be able to find it again. So then we hit Build. For now, I'm just going to save it to the desktop. And we have successfully created the file. So we hit close. And then we're going to actually, I'm going to close out of here temporarily. Okay, now we move to the environment that we want to load these things into. So we go into the solution. Again, we go to the solution workbench again. We go to actions and we have install solution. We click click solution file. We select the file that we have and we hit open. There's a lot of checkbox on here so let's just talk about a few of them here. If you are in a multi-company situation and you only want those to be in the current company you can check the box right here and it will import them simply for the company that you have that you're currently in. If you want to remove them with matching names go ahead and check that checkbox. I would suggest if you're putting this in here, you just automatically overwrite the duplicate files so you don't create any duplicates. That way you're not wondering which one is the one that you just moved over. Then we hit the install button. You can watch it as going through it doing its thing here. It's just installing everything, all of the items that were in there. 
if you wanted to, if you put a, if you want to test it, you can throw it right back on the one, just remove a customization, and then install it to make sure that they appear to be functional. And look, we have build process completed. So at this point in time, we can close this, and we can close this. If you added any menu items, you would simply, you would have to log out of Epicor, log back in, and then you should see those menu items available for you to use, and then you can validate that they're still usable. And with that, we are done. Thank you for your time, and you have a good day.